I really like to take off my rings when I do my skincare and sometimes I forget. I'm gonna brush my teeth first. Um, do you guys care? But we like using the Synthodyne Pro Enamel. It's our favorite toothpaste. It's so good. It's in my monthly reset that I share with you guys that I am not buying Starbucks for the rest of the year. I'm so obsessed with making coffee at home and honestly my goal is to be able to make all of my favorite Starbucks coffees at home. Um, so I'll be bringing you guys along for that journey. Here. I wish I could do the math, the bath breakdown because a, a pot is like a dollar something. I use the tiniest bit of milk. It's like this much milk. And then ice is free. The brown sugar is not expensive for the bag, so it's literally all so affordable. Just gonna make a quick breakfast and I'll bring you guys along. All right guys, so this is what we have for breakfast. Avocado toast, apple, peanut butter, and some waffles. Alright guys, I'm going to take you through a full beginner friendly leg day. I started off with a dynamic warm up and I have a video linked in the description box where I share with you guys all of the um, movements that I do for my dynamic warm up. So go check that out. Starting off the workout doing some squats. The exercise is really keeping your core engaged and making sure that you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. And then for squats, making sure that your knees don't cave in, keeping your knees in line with your ankles. I slowed this clip down so you can really look at my form, but another thing is if you can, Google what a butt wink is, and that's something that we want to try to avoid. We want to keep everything engaged. We're going to move on to reverse lunges. I am using the Smith machine here, which I did really enjoy. It's been a while since I've used it. So just getting this set up, it's really simple. Um, you just put the weight on and then you unrack it. And I'm doing the reverse lunges where you step back and you go into the lunge and then you come back up. You can do it this way or you could also do it stationary where you keep your leg back in this position and you just go up and down. The tips here are pretty similar. Keeping your core engaged, keeping your knees in line with your ankles, not letting your knees cave in. And I'm going to link a really easy article for you guys to read down in the description box from the prehab guys where it discusses the whole knees over toes um, because your knees can go over your toes, but I definitely recommend to read it. It's an easy article to read um, just for that little FYI. By the way, if you are enjoying this type of video format, please let me know in the comments below. It definitely helps me to know that this video is helpful for you guys. And you can also show me by giving me a thumbs up. It does help support the channel. And again, it kind of just lets me know like what you guys want to see more of. 
So I just showed you guys how I racked the Smith machine. You can definitely bend your knees a little and rack it lower. I prefer to do it higher, it's up to you. But now we're jumping into hip thrusts. This is my favorite exercise for glutes created by Brett Contreras. Definitely look him up. Beginner friendly tips for you guys. I like to keep the range of motion. So the motion that I'm moving through quite small. I don't like to go super low with this one. So for the setup, you want to use a bench. You want to use one preferably that's not too high. And you start off by having your shoulder blades pressed up against the um, bench. And you can see right here I'm showing you that would be way too high. So you want to scoot down, get it to where your shoulder blades are there. Now I'm going to show you leg positioning. This is way too far and clearly I'm being over dramatic, but this is way too close. And this is where you want to be with Whenever you come up to the top of the movement, you want your legs at a 90 degree angle. And again, keeping the range of motion quite small. This is what feels good for me. I felt so silly shaking my finger like this, but this is just something we want to avoid. We want to keep everything engaged and we don't want everything to get loose and relaxed and like just go through the motions. You want to be intentional about the movement. Um, here's me showing you B stance hip thrust. Another thing by Brett Contreras, basically you're emphasizing putting about 70% of the work through the left leg, whereas that other leg that's kicked out is just kind of helping you stabilize. Now we're getting into some Romanian deadlifts, and here I'm using dumbbells, as you can see. This is a hip hinge movement, so you want to think about pushing your butt back towards the wall behind you. Um, again, keeping your core engaged, making sure that you're breathing. You don't have to go super low with this one. Go to where you feel a good stretch in your hamstrings, which is the muscles on the back of your legs. Now we're going into some dumbbell calf raises. You could use dumbbells. You can use a barbell Smith machine. Another way to improve this movement is to do it on an elevated surface. And I will hopefully show you guys in an upcoming video. I put a snack together for Joshua and I. So we've got some whole grain wheat thins over here. I cut up a cucumber and a bell pepper. And then we've got some everything bagel hummus. That hummus is seriously so good. It's from H-E-B. You have to have it. And then we've got some Skinny Pop popcorn. I seriously love this popcorn so much. It's really good. So I'm going to pack this up. Um, I'm currently working in the business center and Joshua is hanging out with me. So um, yeah, we're going to go have a snack because I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to drink half of an Alani New Witch's Brew just for a little pick-me-up. This flavor is seriously so good. It definitely reminds me of fall. Um, I'm back in my PJs. I'm gonna make um, turkey and also salmon at the same time because the salmon goes in the oven. The turkey I can cook on the stovetop. So this is just kind of another little reminder that if you can try to cook two meals at once. I'm really not feeling like cooking right now if I'm being honest, but you just gotta do what you gotta do and <laughs> find a way to make it enjoyable. So I'm probably gonna listen to either an audiobook or maybe listen to some Harry Styles because we're going to the Harry Styles concert this week and I'm so freaking excited. Finding ways to make a mundane task enjoyable is so important. All right guys, so this is how everything came out. It all looks so delicious and this is two meals right here. Got some roasted broccoli, which I will put on the screen how I cooked it. And then we've just got some ground turkey over there. You guys know I love ground turkey rice pasta pea penne pasta which we really like and then you guys already know those are all of our favorite seasonings along with some olive oil and then this is how the salmon came out we went ahead and we used the vodka sauce from trader joe's we only had half a jar left so that's what we used and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and serve our bowls um we're gonna do pasta right now and then later on we'll eat some salmon i've been out of my head All right, guys, so I'm currently working on editing, but I'm gonna have a snack. And this is the whole thing cone from Trader Joe's. It's seriously so good. Like, if you can have dairy, this is a treat that I recommend, especially because they're so small, but like, it's the perfect amount to satisfy a sweet tooth craving. Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, guys, last meal. This is just salmon rice and broccoli all from earlier it makes things really easy when you can make the two meals at once um i'll share with you guys how we made the salmon down in the description box it's super easy the rice is also very easy it always comes out good um so yeah 
definitely gonna gonna eat this and then i will see you guys in the next clip okay see you later good night vlog bye